Mr. Amagana, please. Thank you. Yeah. This is Laura. Uh-huh. It's all right. It's all arranged. Is it? Yes, the lawyer's coming tomorrow. Did he tell the lawyer the changes he wanted made? Yes, he did. Not that I think you'd ever tell a lie, Laura, but how do I know all this? Hasn't he told you? No. Then perhaps it'd better drop in this evening. Ah, that's more like it. I'll expect you after dinner. <laughs> I'll be there. Alma arrived this evening, less than an hour ago. We were having coffee in the living room. Earlier, Charles had been showing him through the laboratory. It was not until after that that I had a moment to speak to him alone. Oh, the wonderful fellow, old Charlie. <laughs> so trusty. Did he tell you? Well, what? The will. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. It seems to be that uh, I'm to be told Charlie's beloved heir. <laughs> he still can't understand it. Are you satisfied, then? My dear Laura, I was never more satisfied in my life. Almost evens things up, doesn't it? Almost. You never forgot that, did you? That you lost. Lost? Who says I lost? Game isn't over till the last card is played, sister. It is for you. Now get out of here. Okay. Okay, all in good time. Yeah. Sorry I had to leave you, but those reactions have to be checked every hour. Oh, that's all right, Charlie. Laura and I are just going over old times in Illinois. <laughs> you didn't know we both came from Illinois, did you? No, no, I, I hadn't realized. I'm sure I told you, Charles. You must have forgotten. Oh, yes, probably. Uh, coffee ready? Yes. Will you have coffee with us, Elmer? Oh, you bet I will. Anything in it? No, nothing in mine. Charles always takes his glass, too. Laura does make the best coffee. Well, then, here's to Laura's coffee. There was something about his smile when he said it. That good, smile. Good. And then all of a sudden I saw it. I saw the whole terrible thing. Yeah. Don't! Don't drink it, Todd! <laughs> Todd! Well, 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 old Charlie seems to have keeled over, huh? Wouldn't be surprised if that was thiochlorate poison. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh, the motive and the means. And the motive's a real beaut this time, Laura, because you had to kill him before he changed his will. Neat, huh? You killed him. Sure, but that's not what the jury's got to think. No. And, of course, I'll get the money anyway. You couldn't very well collect it. Because they're going to hang you. No. 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 Elmer's downstairs in the living room. I'm in my study. And once more, I'm waiting for the police. There's no escape for me, of course. Elmer knows that. But there's one little thing that he has forgotten. The last play of the game. For I just have drawn up a will of my own. Leaving my property and everything that I inherit from Charles to Elmer. It is dated three days ago. This statement I shall give into the safekeeping of my personal maid, Sidonia Bell, who, after all is said and done, has been the only true friend I've ever had. I shall give it to her with instructions for its eventual disposal, which I know she will follow to the letter. When that is done, I shall play the last card in the game. I don't think Elmer will find it possible to trump that card. Because, you see... When the police come, it is Elmer who will have to do the explaining, not I. And he will have to explain two bodies, Charles and mine. Charles and mine, unquote. And as the world knows, Laura Morton was found dead dead by the same means which caused her husband's death in that double tragedy two years ago. And now we have this document. And the irony of the document, ladies and gentlemen, the terrible irony, is that it was delivered to the district attorney's office by Fredonia Bell this evening at 8 o'clock, two years later. And why did the good Fredonia wait until tonight? Because she was thus following explicitly the instructions of her mistress, Laura Starling Morton, who specified that the envelope be handed to the police exactly 24 hours after the execution of Elmer Garner. Good night. Thus 
Suspense, presented by Autolite. Tonight, starring Marlena Dietrich and featuring Hans Conrad. Suspense! Tonight's Suspense play was produced and edited by William Spear and directed by Norman MacDonald. Music for Suspense is composed by Lucian Morawieck and conducted by Lutz Luskin. Murder Strikes Three Times is an original play for radio by John DeWitt. Marlena Dietrich will soon be seen in the Warner Brothers production, Stage Fright.